In this demonstration, we're going to look at setting a dynamic labeling expression using the arcade language. All right, so what we're going to do is focus in on this parcel layer, and we're going to create a dynamic label expression for the parcel layer. So go ahead and select it to begin with. That initiates the feature layer context menu. Labeling tab is active at this point. Now, right now, what we have is uh, we're simply labeling using the owner name field. So what you're seeing labeled is uh, simply owner name being placed for each feature. I do have a SQL expression that's been defined on this layer uh, to limit what's being displayed to only some of these larger polygons as well. Uh, so what we're going to focus on here is creating a dynamic labeling expression using the arcade language. And uh, there's a little button out to the right hand side of the field called the expression button. If you click on that, that will bring up the label class pane. You can see here and the label expression button has been selected. What you'll see by default is the current label expression, which is just to, to label the owner name. And that's what you're seeing here with owner name. Dollar sign feature is a global uh, variable that references essentially each feature. So in other words, for each feature, pull the owner name attribute and place that as a label. Uh, that's what we're seeing here. Now we're going to expand this a little bit. Uh, you'll see that Arcade is the default language to use for dynamic label expressions. There are other languages you can use, including VBScript, JScript, Python, but we're focused primarily here on Arcade. Arcade's a new language that comes with ArcGIS Pro. Um, it facilitates things like this, right? Dynamic label expression creation also can be used for creating dynamic symbology, dynamic pop-up content, field calculation. Um, so it's being used pretty broadly at this point inside of ArcGIS Pro as well as ArcGIS Online. And uh, it's uh, pretty much expanding all the time. So Esri is constantly adding new functionality to, the, to this Arcade language. But what we're focused on here is creating a dynamic label expression. What we want to do here, and we're going to keep this fairly simple, is just to include the owner name. And then we also want to uh, display the market value for each of these parcels. But we want, to, we want to separate that, right? So we want two separate lines. The first line being the owner name. We then want to initiate a new uh, carriage return line feed. And then on the second line, we want to introduce the market value. So we'll leave this as is. And what we'll do is we'll add in some additional content. So I'm going to add in something called a new line. All right. So this, this piece that I've just added, this plus text formatting dot new line, text formatting dot new line is a built in uh, property of the arcade language that allows me to insert a new line. So all I'm doing here is uh, we just want to specify that we want the owner name. Plus we want to add a new line. Plus we also want to add in, the market value for each of these features. So I can double click on market value and you'll notice that it automatically adds in dollar sign feature dot market value. So what this will do then in the end is to label using the owner name. It will then insert a new line and then on the second line it will also label in the market value. So pretty simple, but, but this is a common type of task when you're using Arcade to create a dynamic labeling expression. Do you want to make sure you verify or validate your expression. So you want to click on the verify button. If everything's okay, you're going to see um, a little uh, message here that indicates the expression is valid. If you had some errors in here, you, you would see the error message, but everything's okay here. Uh, what we'll then do then is uh, click on the apply button and it will apply this dynamically created expression. And you'll see that we now are printing out not only the owner name, but also the market value for each of these features, but that market value is going to be on a separate line. Now I could add something to this as well. So I might want to add something like some static text that includes market value plus the actual market value. Hit apply. This piece right here, this market value, that is static text. So it's going to add that static text to each of the labels. All right. So that's pretty straightforward. Again, this is a fairly uh, easy language to learn, this Arcade language. Uh, there's a lot of additional functionality that comes with it, but one of the primary uses of the Arcade language in ArcGIS Pro is to create these dynamic label expressions.